Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, the Rhino, and we're going to look at a beer that was brought to me by Greg. So, thank you very much, Greg. He picked this up when he was in Sarnia. He picked up uh, one for each of us, actually. So, that's uh, great of him. This is Carp and Tunnel Syndrome from Refined Fool in Sarnia. It's an English mild at 3.4% alcohol by volume. I'm sure that. It's 12 IBUs, it's a 750 milliliter bottle. I'm sure this was still a pretty expensive bottle. Here's the, here, and, and Greg talks about this all the time, how he would love to buy more session beers and all that if the prices were lower. And I completely understand what he's getting at. I mean, you look at something like, say, Stiegel Radler. I love Stiegel Radler, but it's 2.4% alcohol and it's $2.85 a can. Uh, for $2.85 a can, I can get a 10% alcohol beer. So, uh, thing, things like that really should have a lower price. I I do wish, partially, I don't want the prices to go up, which is what would happen, because she uh, she wouldn't keep things the same, but I do kind of wish that we were kind of like Europe, where uh, the higher the ABV, the more tax was paid on the, on the booze, uh, so that your lowest price stuff would be your milds, and your highest price stuff would be your Imperials, but I don't think that uh, the price per se of, uh, of what's out there right now should go up as much as the lower the ABV stuff, its prices should go down to uh, retroactively show this because you still make more tax money in the long run for the same amount of alcohol ingested if the prices were lower and people were buying more of the lighter stuff. And it's more socially responsible, Kathleen Wynn. You like socially responsible stuff. It's more socially responsible for me to buy uh, two bottles of a 3.4% alcohol 750 than one bottle of a 12% alcohol 750. Much more socially responsible this way. Alrighty. Beautiful ruby red color. A little bit of haze going on in there. Off white head, big bubbles. Big bright snap crackle pop in there. Um, nice looking beer. And visually, she is appealing. And she is what I'd expect from an English mild. I just hope it smells good and tastes good. Smell. Molasses, chocolate, a nice roastiness. Uh, it, it smells just like I thought it would. It smells kind of robust, even for a 3% alcohol beer. Let's try it. Cheers. Now, I know it had a lot of head, but I didn't expect it to have as much carbonation as it did. Because the head's creamy, so I expected kind of like microcarbonation. But there is a, a very, very, very pleasant effervescence to this. A bit thin, yet silky smooth at the same time. Um, but at 3.4% alcohol, you kind of expect it to be a bit thin. It's almost, it's almost like a microcarbonated water. Mouthfeel-wise, not flavor-wise, just mouthfeel-wise, which I'm actually 100% okay with as well because it makes it Moorish. Now the flavor dies out pretty quickly on the back end. Um, I, I, with an English beer, I just expect a little bit more lingering earthiness or copper penniness at the back end. You do get some earthiness and some copper penny flavor, but it does fade into into soda water pretty quickly on the back end. It does make it more Moorish than some some milds in, in that I've had, but uh, at the same time, that's the beer's one drawback. I'd say is the finish fades pretty quickly. Up at the forefront, molasses. A little bit of roastiness, a little nuttiness, um, almost like a, this is almost like a watered down nut brown, like a really good nut brown. There's like 
uh, there's a, a nutty, almost almond flavor in there um, going on with the molasses and the roastiness. And then you... Wow. Yeah, molasses, roastiness, nuttiness, little copper penny, a little dirtiness. It is full flavored, it just fades really quickly. I really, really like this. If I could get these for like, and I know it's, it's again, not feasible for taxation reasons and for the fact that they're in the big 750s, which cost close to a dollar each and, and everything like that, but if I could get these for like, four or five bucks a bottle at the 750s, I'd buy a shit ton of them. Or if I could get them at like two dollars a can, I would buy a shit ton of these because these things are immensely amazing. Um, at the price they're probably at now, it's it, it's a really good beer, but I can probably find stuff that's stronger and tastes better. And that's, that's where the problem comes in with Milds. I love Milds. But uh, also the days of old where the milder the thing, the better, is, the better price-wise is, is gone. And uh, we're now at the taxation world we're at, and the beer and spirits price world that we're at. And I can't, I can't say bad things about it. I mean, that's probably one of the reasons why you don't see many miles made anymore. Uh, one, because it's hard to hide imperfections, and two, because it's hard to get people to go out and buy a bunch of them. Uh, but this is worth buying a bunch of. So it's one of those beers that I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of thrown in a loop of what to say about at the end. I love the taste. I love it. I would. Uh, it's a 750, and I've almost drank the whole thing now because I've filled up the cup so many times. It's just so good. It's full flavored. Uh, again, the only drawback, uh, taste-wise, is that it fades on the back end so quickly. But that makes you just want to keep drinking it. If I was, if I was in Sarnia, I would just sit at the bar, at the Refined Fool Bar, and just drink this all day. And, uh, get up and walk home. It's, it's just one of those beers. You could drink it all day and get up and leave, and, uh, not get in a car or anything, but get up and walk home. And that's what a mild was meant for. A mild was meant to just enjoy all day. It was meant to go and watch a soccer match with your buddies or go and watch a cricket game or whatever else you had to do at a, in a bar and just enjoy them in a pub. You eat, you drink, you have a good day, you have a gay old time, and then you leave. Out of 10, eat five. I love this stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Carpal, uh, carp and tunnel syndrome from Refined Fool. One of my favorite beers of the week. Bye.